All right, so obviously I take really good care of the Mustang. Wash it religiously. You know, put coatings on it and everything like that. Probably wash it at least once a week the proper way. Keep it from getting scratched or anything like that. But then we have this car. Remember when I did the uh, ceramic coating on the trim? Still looks really good, by the way. Um, this car is a 2016 and it never gets washed. I mean, like once a year washed and she'll take it to someone to have them do it. So they're not gonna ruin the finish. It doesn't go through those automatic car washes. So it's not gonna get the swirl marks in the paint. And it shows, I mean, only been washed maybe once a year for the past four years. <laughs> no joke. Look at it. So stay away from the automatic car washes. And if you're not going to wash it the proper way and use clean cleaning utensils, and you're not going to use the two bucket method, don't use the quick detailers. Sure, you might drive around with a dirty car for a little while, but when you do wash it, it's going to look like this. That's with nothing on the paint at all. All right, so let's show you guys what I'm talking about here. A car that has been cared for like it's my baby. Let's see what we get here. All right, 99.5. <laughs> that's with, uh, that's just the vinyl wrap. Um, let's try somewhere up on the roof here. Hopefully it's flat. We can get a decent reading. Yeah, it's not a good reading. Uh, it's not that flat still. 97.3. Uh, let's try down here on the on the door. 99.6. Okay, so you can tell. Put a lot of work into this thing. Um, that's with just a ceramic coating. C quartz 3.0 on there. So I'm getting readings of almost 100 with no product laid over top of it. Let's check a car that has nothing on the paint and gets washed once a year. 93.1. Uh, let's try on the door. A nice flat spot. 87.9. Okay, so it looks really clean and shiny, but we can make that a lot better. We're getting low 90s, high 80s. Back here on the trunk. 95.8. Let's see if we can get anything I'm improving on this 95.5 on the trunk here. All right, so these are some of the products that I've tried and haven't tried. Showed you guys this one. We know it produces an awesome shine, but doesn't last very long. So we'll put that one to the side. One of these should last a little bit longer. Uh, these two are ceramic based and these two are uh, synthetic polymers. This one says it has acrylic in it. It's an acrylic spray sealant. This one says it has anti-static agents and UV blockers. I'm pretty interested in this because of the anti-static agents. We get a lot of pollen down here. So I wonder if that would fight some of the pollen sticking to it. Um, but it does say you got to let it set for 15 minutes before you remove it, which is kind of interesting. Um, so after a lot of contemplation, I think we're gonna use this one here. We'll try this out for you guys. So it provides a gloss magnifying finish, enhanced deep wet shine, synthetic polymer protection. And the reason I wanna go with this is because it says that it provides some uh, levels of, some decent levels of cleaning the paint. So that'll be good for it. But it does say it need, you need to leave it on for 15 minutes, 15 minute dry time before removing. Uh, remove to a wet mirror finish. So you can use it with a, a buffer polisher, you know, dual orbit, orbital polisher, or you can do it by hand. Let's try it by hand first, and if we don't get any results that we like, uh, we can get the buffer out. All right, so first things first, I'm going to just apply some of this to the pad here. It's a decent amount so we can, because the pad's gonna soak up a little bit at first. The way I'm going to apply it is just kind of spread it around evenly in this bottom area of the bumper. Just kind of cover the whole thing. And then 
I'm going to do some back and forth. Some back and forth uh, motions with it here. Not really trying to buff the paint, but I do want to take advantage of the cleaning properties of the, the product. I guess this trunk definitely could use the paint correction. Probably the only part on the car that could use a paint correction, besides the hood. Um, the trunk and the hood. The trunk looks like it took a lot of abuse from, you know, loading stuff in and out, which is normal on a car. I mean, it's pretty hard to never put any tiny little scratches in your trunk. Um, okay, we got a good amount of the product applied here. Now says let it set for 15 minutes. So we'll come back in about 14 minutes and 55 seconds <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll take it off. All right, so I went ahead and did the whole trunk, uh, the whole back hatch here. It's been about 15 minutes, um, give or take a minute or two here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start wiping it off so you guys can see what it looks like and then we'll take a gloss reading. It is coming off really easy. I'm not putting in like any effort at all to wipe this stuff off. So it's not like a ceramic where you really gotta work at it to uh, to get it off the, the vehicle. This stuff's coming off really easy. Considering I did put quite a bit of product on here. I mean, it's just wiping right off. So hopefully, you know, the paint absorbed it into the pores of the, the paint. Hopefully that's a good thing, that it's easy to take off. It looks like it cleaned it really well. I put it on this trim piece, and it's looking really nice. Should have opened up the trunk and dry it first in there because the water's getting out. I think we're okay. Maybe I'll get generous here and take her license plate off and <laughs> clean behind that too. But um, yeah, don't forget about that. So, wiped off really easy. I think it looks really good. Um, I don't know how you guys can tell from the camera, but let's take a gloss reading. Yeah, that's a little better. All right, down here, 96.9. And on this side, if I can find a flat spot, 95.7. Let's take one right here, 97.7. Okay. All right. So to sum things up here, the Chemical Guys Wet Mirror Finish. I'm going to go ahead and give this product a, a thumbs up. Um, again, I do review the Chemical Guys products more than a lot of other products because they're so readily available. Um, again, I, I know I'm not making these videos for myself. I'm making these videos for you guys to show you guys uh, what works and what doesn't work so this product along with a lot of other chemical guys products that you can just go and get them from your local parts store you know advanced auto AutoZone, o'reilly's whatever uh walmart has some chem chemical guys stuff now I, I of course i do include other products that that you might have to get online but 
This stuff's so easy to get that anybody who's going to be watching this video can get their hands on it pretty quickly if they want to run out to the store and get it, try it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a thumbs up because it was extremely easy to apply and it's a good place to start. It's not complex like a ceramic coating where you're going to have to worry about not getting all the product off and you know leaving high spots on your paint and, and there's not there's not a lot of tricks to this stuff it was really easy to put on really really easy to take off um there was that 15 minute window where you did have to let it sit on the paint so i wouldn't recommend doing it in direct sunlight because i don't know how that 15 minute uh cure time is going to be affected by by sun and heat so we did do it in the garage or in the shade or do it in the evening or the morning when the sun's not when the sun's not up yet uh, beating directly down on it so you know you don't need a garage to use it you can you can do this stuff even you know you can even pull into a car wash bay after you wash it and dry it and put this stuff on there as long as people aren't honking behind you to get through um so the biggest reason i did purchase this product and want to try it is because it said it had anti-static agents and like i said if you guys live in an area where i live where we get a ton of pollen and dust and stuff um, dry areas, you know, like Arizona, Texas, stuff like that. I live in the South, um, you know, North Carolina, so we don't, it's not really too dry, but you can go quite a while without, uh, without rain. So it can get kind of dusty. And I end up just washing my car, not because it got wet and got dirty from driving in the rain, but it just gets so dusty. So hopefully this stuff will, uh, will improve that. Um, and again, the more you wash your car and the more you dry it, the more static charge you're going to build up on your paint. Um, even driving down the road, the wind brushing against your paint builds up a static charge. So if this can reduce some of that and help keep the car from getting dusty, it's going to require, uh, it, it'll, you know, allow me to wash my car a whole lot less than you guys too. So, um, it did do a good job of cleaning the paint also, um, purchased the, I did purchase this stuff on Amazon, but I've seen it in parts stores before. It's like, I want to say 13, 14 bucks or something. It was under 20 bucks. I know that. Um, so even cheaper than the, than the Meguiar's ceramic wax. Um, so yeah. All right. So thanks for tuning in guys. Um, hit the like button or the thumbs up button, uh, hit the subscribe button to the channel. You don't necessarily need to turn the notifications on. Um, of course I'd really appreciate it, but you just, just hit the subscribe button so you don't lose this channel because I am going to continue to review, uh, tons of different products, everything I can get my hands on. So if you want to request a special product to be done on here, uh, you can do that. Just leave a comment in the video and tell me what you want me to try out. I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll use the gloss meter on it for you guys. That way you can, uh, you know, see what, see how well it works before you go out and spend the money on it. I'll do that. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.